Welcome time travelers to another exciting journey. Today we're setting our course for Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our solar system. Proxima Centauri, a name that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's very real and it's our cosmic next door neighbor. Nestled in the heart of the Centaurus constellation, a mere 4.2 light years away from us, Proxima Centauri holds the title of the closest star to our own solar system. Now, 4.2 light years might seem like an enormous distance, but in the grand scheme of the cosmos, it's akin to a stroll down the block. To put it in perspective, if we were to scale down the universe so that the Earth and the Sun were only a foot apart, Proxima Centauri would be just over 4 miles away. Proxima Centauri is a small, low-mass star, a red dwarf, to be precise. It's about an eighth the mass of our sun and shines with a feeble glow so weak that it's invisible to the naked eye from Earth. But don't let its size fool you. Despite its diminutive stature, Proxima Centauri has a grand significance. As the closest star to us, it's a prime candidate for exploration and study. It's our first stop on the cosmic highway as we venture out into the stars. And there's something else that makes Proxima Centauri incredibly exciting. In orbit around this star, scientists have discovered an exoplanet, Proxima Centauri b. It's roughly Earth-sized and it's located in the star's habitable zone, where temperatures might be just right for liquid water to exist. Could this be a place where life as we know it could thrive? Only time and study will tell. As we continue our journey, we'll delve into NASA's ambitious plan to explore this fascinating star. NASA, always at the forefront of space exploration, has a daring plan for Proxima Centauri an audacious mission that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The objective? To send a swarm of spacecraft or sprites to our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. This star, a mere 4.2 light years away, hides secrets that could forever change our perception of space and time. This endeavor, though ambitious, is not without its challenges. Traveling at speeds we've only dreamed of, the sprites will need to endure the harsh realities of space. Cosmic radiation, microgravity, and the sheer distance of the journey pose significant hurdles. However, the potential benefits of this mission far outweigh the risks. Imagine the knowledge we could gain by exploring Proxima Centauri up close. We could potentially find evidence of extraterrestrial life, understand the formation of stars, and even unlock the mysteries of dark matter. The possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. The key to this mission's success lies in the swarm. By sending multiple spacecraft, we increase our chances of success. If one spacecraft fails, there are others to carry on the mission. This swarm also allows us to gather data from multiple points of view, painting a fuller picture of Proxima Centauri than a single spacecraft ever could. The sprites themselves will be marvels of technology. Miniaturized to reduce weight and increase speed, these tiny explorers will carry the hopes and dreams of humanity on their metallic wings. Equipped with the latest technology, they will be our eyes and ears in the distant cosmos. NASA's plan to send a swarm of spacecraft to Proxima Centauri is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a bold step forward in our quest to understand the universe and our place within it. The journey to Proxima Centauri is no small feat, but the rewards could be astronomical. Behind this ambitious plan, there is a wealth of cutting-edge technology. The technology that will be used in the mission to Proxima Centauri is truly mind-boggling, from the propulsion systems and communication devices to the swarm concept. Let's delve into the propulsion systems first. The spacecraft won't be relying on conventional rocket engines. Instead, NASA is looking to use a technology known as light sail propulsion. This involves using a large, thin sail that's pushed by sunlight. Yes, you heard it right, sunlight. The idea is that particles of light or photons will hit the sail and transfer their momentum to it, pushing the spacecraft forward. It's a bit like a sailboat, but instead of wind, we're using light. This method is extremely efficient, allowing the spacecraft to reach speeds that conventional rockets could only dream of. Now, a mission of this magnitude wouldn't be possible without advanced communication technology. The spacecraft will be equipped with a laser communication system. This is a type of optical communication that uses light to carry information. It's faster and can carry more data than traditional radio waves, making it perfect for relaying information across the vast distances of space. The laser communication system will also play a crucial role in navigating the spacecraft. The spacecraft will be able to determine its position and velocity relative to the Earth by measuring the time it takes for a laser beam to travel from the spacecraft to Earth and back again. 
This information will be used to make course corrections and ensure the spacecraft stays on the right path. Now let's talk about the swarm concept. This mission won't involve just one spacecraft. Instead, NASA plans to send a swarm of small spacecraft, each one about the size of a loaf of bread. This approach has several advantages. Firstly, it's more resilient. If one spacecraft fails, others can continue the mission. Also, by spreading out, the swarm can cover a larger area and gather more data. Think of it as casting a wide net into the sea of stars. Secondly, it's more flexible. Each spacecraft can be equipped with different instruments, allowing the mission to carry out a wide range of scientific investigations. Lastly, the swarm concept is more sustainable. Smaller spacecraft are cheaper to build and launch, making this type of mission more economically viable. But let's not forget the swarm won't be acting independently. They'll be working together, communicating with each other and coordinating their actions. This requires incredibly sophisticated software capable of handling complex tasks and making real-time decisions. This technology may sound like science fiction, but it's rapidly becoming science fact. NASA is already testing light sail propulsion and laser communication systems, and swarm robotics is a hot topic in the field of artificial intelligence. With this technology, NASA hopes to unlock the secrets of Proxima Centauri. But it's not just about one star. The technology developed for this mission could revolutionize space exploration, opening up new possibilities and bringing us one step closer to understanding our place in the universe. The journey to Proxima Centauri, while challenging, promises to hold a wealth of discoveries. It's an odyssey into the unknown, a voyage across the cosmic sea that will take us to the doorstep of our nearest stellar neighbor. To truly appreciate the scale of this journey, let's start with some basic facts. Proxima Centauri, a small faint red dwarf star, lies roughly 4.2 light years away from our own sun. In more terrestrial terms, that's approximately 25 trillion miles. That's trillion, with a T, a number so immense that it's hard to wrap our heads around it. Now let's talk about how long it would take us to get there. If we were to hitch a ride on the fastest spacecraft ever launched from Earth, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, we'd be looking at a trip that would last over 6,000 years. But don't pack your bags just yet. NASA's ambitious plan involves technology that could potentially cut this travel time down to just a couple of decades. Imagine, in the lifespan of a single human generation, we could bridge the cosmic divide that separates us from another star. But this isn't a simple Sunday drive. The journey to Proxima Centauri will be fraught with challenges and perils that we've never faced before. Space, as it turns out, isn't exactly empty. Even in the vast voids between the stars, there are dust particles, cosmic rays, and other forms of radiation that could pose a threat to any spacecraft. Our vessel will need to be robust, capable of withstanding these conditions for a prolonged period. Furthermore, the spacecraft will need to maintain a blistering pace. To cover the immense distance, we're talking about speeds that are a significant fraction of the speed of light. Achieving, and more importantly, maintaining such speeds will require technological innovations that are currently at the forefront of propulsion research. And then, there's the issue of navigation. Steering a spacecraft across trillions of miles of space isn't as simple as setting a course and pushing a go button. The vessel will need to course correct, avoid obstacles, and keep its trajectory true over a span of decades. This will require advanced autonomous systems and a level of precision that is currently unparalleled in space exploration. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards are immense. Proxima Centauri is not just the closest star to our sun, it's also home to at least one Earth-sized planet, Proxima Centauri b, that resides in the star's habitable zone. This is a region where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it, to exist. The journey to Proxima Centauri, therefore, is not just a voyage of distance, it's a voyage of discovery. It's an opportunity to explore a new world, to seek out answers to some of our most profound questions. Is there life beyond Earth? Are we alone in the universe? These are the queries that drive us, that compel us to embark on such an ambitious mission. As we stand on the precipice of this new era of exploration, we are reminded of the words of the great explorer T.S. Eliot, who once said, We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. In our journey to Proxima Centauri, we may find that the universe is both vastly different and strikingly similar to our own little corner of the cosmos. We may find worlds that challenge our understanding of what it means to be a planet, 
we may encounter phenomena that defy our current understanding of physics, but above all, we will push the boundaries of what is known, venturing further than we ever have before. And who knows what wonders await us on this journey, what new discoveries lie in wait around the next cosmic corner. As we venture into the unknown, we can only imagine the wonders that await us. The mission to Proxima Centauri holds the promise of vast scientific discoveries. As we set our sights on this journey, we're not just reaching for the stars, we're reaching for answers, for knowledge, and for a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Let's start with the most tantalizing possibility, the discovery of exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Proxima Centauri, being the closest star to us, is an ideal candidate for such discoveries. In fact, we already know of at least one exoplanet, Proxima Centauri b, in its orbit. This planet is in the Goldilocks zone, a region where conditions might be just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist. And where there's water, there could be life, but there's more. The discovery of additional exoplanets in the Proxima Centauri system could rewrite our understanding of planetary formation and star systems. We could learn about the diversity of planets out there, their sizes, their orbits, their atmospheres. Every new planet discovered could be a piece in the puzzle of how our own solar system came to be. Next, let's talk about the star itself. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, a type of star known for its longevity. It's been burning steadily for billions of years and will continue to do so for billions more. Studying Proxima Centauri could offer insights into the life cycles of stars and how they evolve over time. Furthermore, red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are known for their frequent stellar flares, sudden bursts of energy that can significantly increase the star's brightness. These flares could have profound effects on any nearby planets, potentially stripping away their atmospheres and making them inhospitable to life as we know it. By studying these flares we can learn more about the interactions between stars and their planets and what conditions might be necessary for life to thrive. But perhaps the most exciting possibility is the search for life itself. We know that life as we understand it requires certain conditions, liquid water, a stable climate, certain chemical elements. If we find these conditions on an exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, it would be a game changer. It would mean that life in some form could exist elsewhere in the universe. Imagine the implications. We've long wondered if we're alone in the universe. The discovery of life, even microbial life on another planet would be a resounding no. It would open up a whole new field of study astrobiology and fuel our quest to understand how life began and how it might evolve under different conditions. Of course, we have to be realistic. The search for life is a long shot, the conditions have to be just right, and even if they are, detecting life from light years away is a monumental challenge, but it's a challenge worth taking. The potential rewards, in terms of knowledge, understanding and inspiration, are simply too great to ignore. So as we embark on this journey to Proxima Centauri, we do so with a sense of anticipation, of excitement, and of humility. We're reminded that we are but a small part of a vast universe, but we're also reminded of our potential, our potential to explore, to discover, and to understand. We don't know what we'll find when we reach Proxima Centauri. We may find new worlds with landscapes and skies unlike anything we've seen before. We may find clues to the life cycles of stars and to the formation of planets. We may even find signs of life, a discovery that would change everything or we may find none of these things. We may find that Proxima Centauri is a normal star with normal planets and no signs of life. But even then, we will have learned something. We will have pushed the boundaries of our knowledge. We will have taken a step, however small, towards understanding our place in the universe. The mission to Proxima Centauri is more than a journey through space. It's a journey through time, through history, and through the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a journey of discovery of ourselves and of the universe we inhabit. Only time will tell what secrets Proxima Centauri holds. NASA's mission to Proxima Centauri is just the beginning of a new era in space exploration. As we stand on the precipice of venturing farther than ever before, we can't help but wonder what the future holds for our exploration of the cosmos. The journey to Proxima Centauri is a testament to our unyielding curiosity and ambition. However, it is merely the first step in a grander plan. In the coming years we'll see a number of ambitious missions set forth. The European Space Agency, for instance, has its sights set on the icy moons of Jupiter, with a mission called JUICE, slated to launch in 2029. This mission aims to explore the potential habitability of these moons, which may hold vast oceans beneath their icy surfaces. 
China has also been making strides in space exploration. Its Chang'e program is a series of lunar exploration missions that have already brought back lunar samples to Earth. The future of this program includes plans for manned lunar missions, which could see humans return to the moon in the next decade. In the private sector, companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are also advancing the frontier of space travel. SpaceX's Starship is being designed to carry up to 100 passengers, with the aim of making life multi-planetary. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket is expected to launch in the next few years, promising to deliver payloads and humans to orbit and potentially beyond. As we continue to explore, the technology propelling these missions will continue to evolve. Miniaturized spacecraft, like those being sent to Proxima Centauri, could become a common tool for investigating distant celestial bodies. Advances in propulsion technology may make the vast distances of space more traversable, and developments in life support systems could make long-duration space travel feasible for humans. And let's not forget the potential for human space travel. The concept of humans living and working in space, once the domain of science fiction, is becoming increasingly plausible. NASA's Artemis program aims to land humans on the moon by 2026, and SpaceX has plans for a manned mission to Mars in the next decade. These are not just flights of fancy but realistic goals within our grasp. Of course, the future of space exploration is not without its challenges. The harsh environment of space, the vast distances and the sheer cost of these missions pose significant hurdles. However, with each mission we undertake, we learn more, not just about our universe, but about how to overcome these challenges. We are also beginning to consider the ethical implications of our exploration. How do we balance our desire for discovery with the need to protect the celestial bodies we explore? As we move forward, these questions will become increasingly important. There's no denying that the future of space exploration is exciting. With each mission, with each new discovery, we expand our understanding of the universe. We push the boundaries of what is possible, and as we do, we continue to dream, to wonder, and to explore. In the end, space exploration is about more than just understanding the universe. It's about understanding ourselves, our place in the cosmos, and our potential to reach for the stars. As we look to the future, we see a universe filled with endless possibilities waiting to be discovered. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, the universe becomes a little less unknown. Our journey to Proxima Centauri has come to an end, but the adventure is just beginning. As we wrap up our cosmic expedition, let's take a brief moment to reflect on the fascinating journey to our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. We've delved into NASA's ambitious plan, a bold undertaking that aims to extend the reach of human knowledge beyond our solar system. It's an endeavor that merges the brilliance of human intellect, the audacity of our dreams, and the cutting-edge technology of our time. We've explored the technology behind the mission, a testament to our relentless pursuit of innovation. From the swarm of miniaturized spacecraft to the light beam propulsion system, we've seen how these marvels of engineering are set to revolutionize our approach to space exploration. Our voyage through the immensity of space, a journey of over four light years, has given us a new perspective on the scale of our universe. We've learned about the challenges of such a long distance journey and how NASA intends to overcome them. It's a voyage that will take us decades, but the rewards promise to be worth the wait. We've also contemplated the potential discoveries that await us at Proxima Centauri. From the prospect of finding an Earth-like planet to the tantalizing possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life, the mission promises a wealth of scientific revelations that could forever change our understanding of the universe. As we gaze into the future of space exploration, we see a landscape filled with promise and potential. This mission to Proxima Centauri is but a stepping stone in our journey to the stars. It's a quest that will continue to inspire us, challenge us, and push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Thank you for joining Time Pilgrimage on this adventure, and as always, please explore our library of time and space-related content, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.